and welcome to an episode of City Car Driving. In this episode, I'm going to be driving this HSV Malou. So you start it up, and if you don't know, this is a Holden, which means that it's actually just GM, but it's for the Australian market, which means it's right-hand drive. And now I'm going to attempt to back up here. And this is a mod review video. Currently, I need to get fuel, and if you're wondering, fuel gauge works, the RPM gauge works. Just all the stuff you would expect to work does work. Including the temperature gauge, so if you sit here and just grab the tits off the engine, the temperature gauge will increase. Now as for the interior quality, that is pretty good. Obviously the screen and whatnot in the car, that's not all that good. But, if you look around here, it is just pretty nice. And really, this interior is quite detailed and looks pretty nice. So I'm going to try the complicated process of turning out here, and it's there's not really a way to tell if there's someone back there, as you do have quite a large blind spot. Blind spot. So I think I'm going to go for the method of floored and hope for the best and don't crash into me at home. Really? This is what happens when you sit here and park for a while. They, the AI crashes into you because they dumb. So let's try to get out of here. Well, first I need to put my seatbelt on and whatnot. Well, since he's crashed, that means that there cannot possibly be any traffic right now on this road as he's blocking the road. So, let's take off. This does have a custom engine sound, which I'll let you listen to here. And a custom blinker sound. The blinkers and whatnot, they work. You can see that in the dash there. The wipers, they work. Unlike some cars where they, you hear the wiping sound, however, they don't wipe. And then, the lights, they light up the gauges so that if it's nighttime, and you want, so if you want to play the game while the game is in nighttime, you can. And then also down there, you can see what gear you're in and that general fun stuff. Okay, looks good here. Uh, no, okay, not good there. Now, since this is rear wheel drive, that means I have to, by law, do this. Yes, that is, yeah. While I'm waiting here, I'll show you the exterior of this car. The exterior is, once again, modeled quite nicely. It's obviously a ute. It has a big V8 directly from GM. It is modeled very nicely, but I think the interior looks like it has a better model than the exterior. This looks like a pretty good time to test out and see how the engine sounds. And also, I'm going this direction because there's a fuel station and my gauge is literally on empty. So, let's take off here. Nice and angry V8 motor. The car does handle pretty nimble, like you would want from a car in the game, for it to actually, you know, feel realistic, is when you go around a corner or whatnot, you can see the body move around a bit, see it shake and jiggle. Time to do a little bit of normal driving. But, so far, this mod is pretty much perfect. I mean, obviously, yes, I'd like the engine sound to be a little bit more pronounced. Right now, it kind of sounds a bit like a vacuum. I mean, I know it's not completely, but it just sounds like it a little bit. I don't know why, but on this road in the game, there's typically something that happens, like a car going into your lane or something like that. Just in general, dumb stuff. One issue with many mods that this mod doesn't have is the seating position. In a lot of mods, it, you get into the car and the camera's just all off. It's stupid and you can't drive from that angle either. It's too far left, too far right. This is perfectly in the center. Not tilted up, down, left, right. Just perfect. I'm gonna stop for some fuel here. Okay, is it on the left side or the right side? Wait, if you look down at the fuel gauge, it says it's on the right side. But let's see. Yep. There we go, we've replenished this car's fuel tank. I just took my seat belt off by accident by clicking the button. I'm going to drive over to some like the test track area and see really how this car handles. Because when you're on the road, as with real life, there's traffic, and you don't really get a feel for a car. So we're just gonna I to do a time lapse or skip to when I'm at the test track. Okay, this road looks pretty much open. You have gotta do this. 
and then there's 60. V8 propelling me to 120 in that short distance. That's great. Good brakes too, which is pretty important when I, I'm behind the wheel. If you're wondering what has happened there, I can't just burst into my room and since my door doesn't really clo close, since my door doesn't really close, you can just push it open and that's exactly what the cat did and now he's going to be in my room annoying me. Okay, that almost went very bad. Well, instead of going to the trash track, I went to this little tiny curvy road right here. So we'll see how many times I go over the edge. Starting now. Okay, one. I went over the edge at least once there. Lock it in first gear. Have to go slow here. Didn't go over the edge, surprisingly. Okay. Get around this corner. Actually, okay. I went over the edge there. Go around again, went over the edge, it's like four times. Have it locked in second gear now. So that is, I mean that's probably the maximum gear I'm gonna go into. Okay, that's five times. Six. To be fair though, this is only just big enough for a car. I feel like I'm sliding around this whole place like a little, little slither snake. Okay, it's probably about ten times I've gone over. But anyway, on these little tiny, tight roads, yeah, this isn't really the best. I mean, it handles well, but on, for something like this, you'd want a smaller car. Okay, let's get to an actual test track now. I quite like that one. What the... He just landed on my roof, didn't he? Yeah, that went horribly wrong, didn't it? Yeah, bud. Yeah, hey, bud, that went horribly wrong. Okay, big open road. Okay, yes, this... Oh, this does handle really good. This is probably one of the best mods, really, in the game. It has a decent custom engine sound. I knocked over a few cones there. But, I mean, it's a good mod. Now here's the ultimate question, can I go through this right angled turns without going into reverse or knocking a cone, no, I'm not gonna knock, I am gonna knock a cone over, I know it, I'm gonna knock that one right in front of my hood over. Okay, that was barely, if that was real life I would've just scraped my bumper on something. Yeah, screw it. Now the real question of my incompetence incompetence let's see if I can go up this without spinning my wheels now let's get this thing slidey all right go slide light oh dang that was really loud okay I cannot drive let's get a nice old slide on going here Okay, let's go right. Don't know why I turned on my blinker. Most cars in this game, once you lose the rear end, it's all over from that point. But with this car, you can actually correct it. Which is odd. Well, I guess that really does summarize this whole mod review. Really simple. It's a great mod. So, hopefully you liked this episode, and goodbye.